equilibrium will be um, re-achieved. Unfortunately, nature is a harsh taskmaster. Because we're so intelligent, because we're such a different class of animal with such a big brain, we have the ability to understand and foresee and prepare and stuff for these things. It doesn't mean we will. How will we face into the issue of human population? I went to speak with William Catton, a professor of sociology and human ecology at Washington State University, now retired, and author of an amazing book on ecology and human population called Overshoot. According to Catton's assessment of the caring capacity of the planet, I think the way we're living now, the world was overpopulated already by the time of our Civil War. The population at the time of the U.S. Civil War was just over one billion, so we've now overshot that number by more than five billion, as Catton told me. It is possible to exceed carrying capacity, but only temporarily. If you exceed carrying capacity, you then damage the environment upon which you're depending. Looking closely, I've come to see that population numbers for humans, in and of themselves, are only part of the story. As Catton points out, it's the damage those numbers do that counts, and that damage is intimately connected to our way of life. The Earth supports as great a collective mass of ants as it does people. It can do so because ants aren't building 6,000 square foot homes, driving two hours to their jobs, buying plasma TV sets, and killing each other with depleted uranium munitions. We in the developed world have 32 times the footprint on the, on the planet on resources depletion, 32 times the person in India. Uh, well, we, I think we all know that, though the figure is stunning. And it ought to make us really think um, and start to talk with each other about this. You talk about how many uh, energy slaves per capita do we have? Uh, in this country, we've got something like 70 times as many energy slaves per capita as people in Bangladesh. Instead of thinking of that Bangladesh as the overpopulated country, if you multiply each of us by 70, take that 290 million or whatever number of us there are now, multiply it by 70, wow, we are an overpopulated country. In those terms, the U.S. is a nation of 21 billion people, and my own three children add 210 to that number. To speak of population then as the root cause of our problem makes little sense to me. It conjures images of crowded third world cities and teeming masses of human flesh, while the global impacts of rich first world lifestyles go unexamined. Big feet, more and more feet, and more and more feet getting bigger and bigger. And if these feet just keep on walking, one of these days they're going to walk right into oblivion. It cannot be sustained for much longer.